Greetings, welcome back to Fallout 4. I am Patronus. The journey across the Commonwealth has led us to Fiddler Green Estates. Let's check out what's going on here. You know, I think I might whip out the Throat Slicer for a little bit quieter action. Oh, look, there's a uh, safe on the wall. Let's check that out. There's a hole, hole over here. All right. Oh, wait. There's a ghoul. Oh, we got more ghouls. All right. Incoming. Yo, yo, yo. Green. Green. Oh, got a couple more here. I'm just gonna slowly walk around here. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, one more. Let's see. Are you gonna come through the hole in the wall over here? I guess that's it. Okay, let's go back to the exploring. Alright, so let's check out what the safe holds for us. Sweet. Ah, trailer key. Well, let's find that trailer, shall we? Oh, wait, let, well, let's, let's have a look around to see if there's anything valuable that we might want. Teddy bear and a tape. Let's play it. Hello. My name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories, because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day, Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape too. So we must find the second hollow tape. Roger that. Let's check this uh, this tray over here. Oh, here it is. Well, I think. Yes, second one. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is. Part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape 3. Okay, so we're going to find holotape 3. We will do. Yes. I do find it funny that the, the stealth boy is just floating there. A little mattress for sleeping if you want. Unfortunately, this ghoul was part of the Philadelphia experiment. That's a reference if anybody gets that. What's up in here? Oh! Another ghoul. Alright, let's check over here. Oh, I see a couple of them. Let's see. You're down. You're unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I'll take some of that stuff right there. A steamer trunk, always helpful, always good, right? Hopefully it's got all the stuff we want. Chem station, if you want to make some chems. I keep walking into chairs, which is just silly. All right, let's check over here. A shaded lamp, okay.
All right, let's check over here. Anything? No. Everything seems pretty empty. Hello. I'll take that. Oh, take the mail. Nice. Did I check this mail? I did not. Always got to check the mail. No, I didn't see anything here initially. All right, so we have a trail over here. Ah, uh, this one. This one requires key. Ah, uh, we got some power armor. Nice. Oh, uh, I wish it was a bit more better. But there's a fusion core if you want one. Uh, some ammo. Ammo's good. This uh, unfortunate person here, he just uh, was relaxing and, well, that was the end of it. Cooking station. So yeah, definitely someone be living here. And then there's this. Oh, wait, check the mail. Nothing. Alright, up in here. Oh, look, we got a uh, magazine. Live in love. Nice. Permanently gained 25% XP from persuading women. The secretary charmer. But of course. Up oh, here looks like the last holotape. Okay, let's get the teddy bear and then play the tape. Time Simon here with the exciting conclusion to the new squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the red squirrel. The red squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The red squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. And what we've learned is if you do not listen to your elders, then your family and friends will be devoured by cats. Good to know. There's one last spot to check. It's called the shelter. It's a bunker, actually. And down here, we will find, well, just food. Not much in the way of drink, though. But unfortunately, we have a settler here who, uh, who could not survive. What do we got? Just shooter bombs, to mash, bobby pin, Salisbury steak, cram, pork and beans, mac and cheese. Ooh, a ham radio. Turn that off. An advanced lock safe. Nuka Cola. So let's see what's in the safe. Got it. There we go. Oh, just the assortment stuff. Nothing too grand. And that is it for Fiddler Green Estates. It's a short, small little area. It's got a slight, neat little story about, you know, squirrels getting eaten by cats. Very child friendly. That is it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and comment. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs, and you can help with that by uh, subscribing. Again, thank you for watching. I love your faces, and have a great day.